Okay then, in this video we will create some models in our GeoJungle project. So let's clear, let's first um, discuss what a model is. So as we discussed before, each model in GeoJungle or in Django maps to a single database table and you can read in here as well. So that means if you would like to create a database table you need to go to your models.py file and create a model. Similarly, if you would like to make changes to your existing database table in GeoJungle, you need to go to your models.py file and do the and make those changes in the in the corresponding uh, model. All right. So and then there are some basics relating to models. So, so the first one is each model is a Python class, which should which should inherit from this class, right? And for GeoJungle, it's a bit different. So, but that's fine. We'll discuss the one later on. So, and then each attribute of the model represents a database field. That means once you create your model, each attribute will be a database field. So then the third one, it says. With all of these, Django gives you an automatically generated database access API. That means you don't need to write raw SQL queries. You can use database access API to make queries to your database. So we'll cover these points step by step. So let's go to our application, sorry, to our Visual Studio Code. And then let's go to models.py uh, of culture heritage backend. All right, so go to your culture heritage backend application and then go to models.py. So in here, we will be creating three models. The first one will be category model, and that would be cultural heritage category. So as, as you might as you might know, cultural heritage categories can be like natural, indigenous, historic, etc., etc. So to store that information, we'll create uh, a model called category, and then our second model will be place, and each place will be linked to a cultural heritage category. So you will see that soon. And then our third model will be cities and cities will be a separate model and we will use cities um, model or cities data as a data source for our query. Um, that query definitely will be to find geographically closest cities to, to culture heritage places. So let's get started. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to import appro appropriate uh, class for our models. So this one is fine for Django, uh, sorry, Django models. But for GeoJungle models, you need to import models uh, models from Django.contrib.gis.db. So I'll show that to you. So if you go back. Um, actually, I have this one open in here. So that's GeoJungle model API. So in here, the first line, this one, that's what we need. Okay, so we need to copy these and then put it here. That's now good. So that means we can now use GIS uh, fields. So let me show them to you. So in here, we have GIS fields or um, yeah, geographical fields, not geographical, I think it's GIS fields, yeah. So for instance, like geometry fields, point fields, uh, line string fields, polygon fields, etc. So, and then if you are interested in knowing more about Django fields, they are in here. So you can see them in here. So field types, so big auto field, you know, the uh, date time field, uh, file field, etc. So let's get started. So let's create our categories class or just category class. So I'll say class category and then models and then model. So and in here, uh, my first attribute will be category name 
and remember this attribute will be my database field so models car field and then there will be category name that's just normal name uh, or human readable name that you would see in the admin site so then we can specify some other options so like for instance max length so that's a maximum length for for category and then we can also specify in here help text help text and there would be you know like a helper text specify you will see these tags in the admin site very soon specify a cultural heritage category like this so that's fine so let's go to the second one so the second attribute will be created at so it's going to be timestamp created at and the models date time field and then here we have two options so the first one is auto now add so and the other one is auto now so i'll explain the difference between them in a second so i'll write auto auto now add true and then i will just duplicate this and change attribute name to modified add so and in here it's going to be just auto add now so the second attribute is created add and in here auto now add true means it's going to be logging the time only once and modified add equals to auto now true that means it's going to be logging the time every time you make a change to a category okay so that's the difference between them so now let's continue uh, let's continue with our category model so we'll say class meta so this is metadata uh, so we'll say verbose name plural and this one is a way to tell the plural name for our model so it's gonna be categories then we can also specify a function call it str like this so and this one let me finish this so it's gonna be return self dot category name so this one this class defines an instance name for your model instances so and it's gonna return category name and you will see um, this one plus category uh, plural verbose name plural very soon in the admin side and if you are interested in knowing more about you know options like field options or other field types you can you can go to official website of Django and then in here you can read more about field types so let's say if you want to if you're interested in uh, char field you can go to this one and then here you can you can read some more options like maximum lengths etc all right so now let's continue with our second model which is places so so our second model will be spatial model so with the first one it, this is non-spatial model as you can see i don't have point uh, field or polygon field etc that's why it's non-spatial but with places it's gonna be spatial model so i'll say class place and then models model and then in here categories so as i said before uh, place will be linked two categories so that's why our my first attribute will be categories and it's gonna be equal to foreign key and in here I need to specify my model that I'm going to link my places to so it's gonna be then categories so then on delete it's gonna be models dot cascade like this and I'll explain this one in a second so let's finish this first so place name so there would be models car field 
max length. You can specify whatever you like. In my case, it's going to be 50. So then description, models, car field. This time around, max length would be 254. And then blank, true. That means you can leave it blank. So then I can also copy just this one, created add and modified add. There are some boilerplates you can develop, like boilerplate models, and then you can just inherit that boilerplate model. But uh, for our case, it's very simple. So that's why um, that's fine. So we can just copy you know, these two attributes or two uh, fields here. So now we need image, image field. So it's gonna be models image field upload to and then we need to specify where we are, where we'll be uploading our images so it's going to be place image or just images so then blank here true so then now true so then active so this one active will allow us to control whether the place is active or no. So if it's active false, that means it's archived. So default will be equal to true. So point geometry models point field. So it's gonna be point field. And then here you can specify default value, but I'm not gonna do it. So now let's specify class meta. So that's metadata. So verbose name plural and there would be places and then again so def str self and here i will be returning place name so i'll say return self dot place name so finally let's create our third model which will be cities so i'll say just city and then models dot model and then name so again this will be spatial model car field max length there would be 50 and then i can just copy this and then put it here so point geometry that would be point field and then now let's define our class meta so verbose name plural cities so then self and in here i will be definitely returning name that's it so as you can see this one is point field and you can read about more point fields in here so you see point field so it stores data as point. So, and this is another field called image. And I'm storing images in this folder, places images, sorry, place images. And it can be blank true and null true. So again, if you are interested in knowing more about field types and or field options, please go ahead to, to this website and then you can, in, in this website, in this page, you can read more about Django fields and etc. And in this one, you can read more about GeoDjango fields.